What does yes, that look like? I am having serious elbow in the Привет, товарищ. How's it hanging? Little to the left. Hey, not bad, Goldie. So, you and uh, you and Sergey, huh? He's really uh, something. Where'd the two of you meet? At the KGB Academy, actually. No kidding. What was he? Uh, the janitor? As a matter of fact, he finished second in our training class. Hmm. I got three guesses who came in first, and they all start with N. <laughs> I think that was part of the attraction. He'd never lost to a girl before. Wonder if he's ever lost to a Furon. So what happened? Your kids seem made for each other. He wanted me to quit. It's not easy always being second best, I expect. Tell me about it. So, did you shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Yet. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? No. But not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about how it's so cold I can't feel my unit. What's the deal now? Pay attention. I need your help shutting down the pumping machines in the tunnels. Take a fuel rod into each tunnel and place it inside the reactor of each machine. Sergei and I have hidden a fuel rod crate near each of the tunnel entrances. Clear? As 80 proof vodka. Uh, sorry. Pay attention. Take up Ser- No sweat, dollface. Consider those pumps out of order. I have very large gun.
don't expect you to carry that fuel rod into the tunnels of your bare phalanger box, Crypto. Use your psychokinesis! Like this, it seems far beyond their primitive capabilities. There's something vaguely alien about all this crypto. I can't quite put my phalange apart on it. Oh well, it will come to me. Carry on! Let it 
had a strange feeling about this place. A strange sort of deja vu. Brains, but I feel to know what's under that gas cloud on the surface. So many weird things in the thing. Ah! Somebody stop me! I'm a bad mug.
You have fast question corner, I'm having no problem shopping through you! of still frozen solid <laughs> melt the obstruction with my superheated plasma. Accept this landing beacon in magnanimous th Thanks. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh my. Holy hookers of Ark Voodle! Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads. Great galaxies, no! They're not even human! They're the enemy! Our enemy! The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War! Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute, I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out! I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses! But a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention, Blisk! I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me. Arkfudo's lines! Your weapons simply 
Germany aren't calibrated for this stuff. You are better than Germany. They're practically useless against the Blisk. As if those crabby shells aren't bad enough. They've got defense shields. Try using them against the Blisk.
Thank <laughs> you. You're here, Crypto. We need to hunker down and do some serious strategizing. You know any place I can get one of those big furry hats? My ears are freezing off. You don't have any ears. See? That's what I'm saying. Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My... my hard drive is spinning. I hardly know where to begin. They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis. They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation. They take to it like a pig to mud. Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster! Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska Blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship! Listen, I, I skipped most of military history. How'd that war get started, anyway? Millennia ago, Mars was an ocean world, and the Blisk ruled an underwater paradise. Frankly, they were more than a little cocky about it. The war was long and bitter, but in the end, we reduced their world to desert and wiped them out! Or so we thought. We obliterated most of their warships, though one we could not account for. We assumed it had been destroyed, but it must have been merely disabled and drifted helplessly through space until it crash-landed here on Earth. And I'm guessing the Krabbies ain't the forgiven type. After what we did to them, not bloody likely. Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... ...downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Downsize the defense budget? What the hell did the Emperor do that for? The Blisk were exterminated. No one else posed such a lethal threat. We didn't need the big guns, but none of us saw this coming. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Clear to ride up. Only our mothership was still intact. Its archived data on the disk might have helped me develop weapons upgrades capable of cracking those shells. But that data is irretrievable now. Oh, the Fioronogy!